Hey! <laughs> this is just walk right through, dude. Dude, way to go, buddy. Are you kidding me? Good morning, first day at the XOP public land camp. Uh, Brian and I got in last night pretty late, uh, but we got to shoot the shit with the guys here and after spending about an hour with them, I could tell we're already gonna have a good time because uh, they're just some good dudes and it's, uh, it's gonna be a fun deer camp. But we showed up here with no scouting, like literally whatsoever other than just some pins that, um, that Tom dropped for us, so. This morning, we're gonna go find the closest diesel station, top up. We got here on Flat E, so that was good thinking, but put some fuel in the truck and start driving. Uh, Cyber scouted a little bit last night in bed. Got a couple pins I wanna drive to, check those out, walk. It is like 50 degrees, 48 degrees, so it's beautiful hunting weather here. Um, yeah, so we got a lot of work to do in a short amount of time. So pretty much hitting the ground, uh, boots running here. So, see how it goes. Second set in Wisconsin public land. We're here at the XOP deer camp. We're having a blast. And uh, my buddy Brian, my camera guy for this year, is sick and not feeling good. So I'm out here on a solo mission tonight. Hope he feels better. But we're set up on some fresh sign. I got some deer pads, big old ripped open scrape right underneath me. And uh, we're in Wisconsin, anything can happen. We got a buck tag and a doe tag, so we're set up. We'll see how it goes. That's what I'm talking about. I hope I hit her good, which I'm pretty sure I did. But she ran off. I watched her bound off like 70 yards and she stopped and bedded down. dally with the GoPro for a second, look back and she was gone, so I'm, I'm pretty sure she went down right there. Nice big mature doe. I shot her like five yards. I didn't want to stop her, but I knew I had a small window. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Morning after, we ended up giving that doe overnight. Um, which is crazy. I thought I pump housed her, but we went back to camp, watched all the footage, and I don't know, I definitely left me scratching my head. Last night we tracked, well, I watched her run 50, 60 yards, but from there to where we stopped tracking was probably another 150 yards. So 200 yards total, and um, we just backed out, gave her overnight. We got the old tracking crew in here today, so hopefully we can go in and uh, hopefully recover this deer. So we'll see how it goes.
rope can almost be down to you guys. Is it pinching? Yep, it is. Yes. And I I thought I was on her and I shot. She was off frame. I was like, shit. Well the GoPro is here over shoulder and you can see shot impact on GoPro. Nice. So that's that that bailout camera is what I always call it. Like, yeah. I need a I've got it. Alright. Day four or five, I'm losing track. Our buddies Dan and Nick kayaked back into this amazing spot. There is tons of deer sign. I'm heading back out there with them tonight. So we got the kayak and we got about a mile paddle upstream in the wind, you know, uphill both ways, the whole nine yards. But we're going in tonight, the mobile set, the XOP, and we're gonna do a hanging hunt here in this really badass spot. This is a new experience for me. I've never paddled in or hunted anything like this. So this is super cool. We got the kayak, we got everything we need. We actually picked the guys at McDonald's. And we're gonna do a handoff. We're gonna give them some McDonald's and they're gonna go their way. We're gonna go our way. So, um, we're getting everything loaded up in the kayak. We're heading out. <laughs> Bro, it's terrifying. I'm doing the ab workout. Pass over their McDonald's. This is real. It's unreal. Like, they're so much buck sign. I would not be surprised if it's 70 acres. I think I think our island alone has 60 plus scrapes on it. October 10th, public land, Wisconsin. We just boated into about the most badass spot I've ever boated into. It's pretty sick. Because I've never boated in anywhere, so it looks really <laughs> good. But uh, uh, we're in here, and um, these two guys here are telling me there's big bucks everywhere. And um, so as soon as we got off the, the canoe, Oh, that's the first rub that we've seen. Rub right there. Boom. And we've been in here, what, this is our third day? This Your third day. day. Yeah. My second day. We spent an evening hunt and a morning hunt, and then we scouted pretty much this whole island, just driving around on the canoe, just kind of seeing access points popping up like this, looking around, making yeah. sure we don't bump our wind in here, and that's... I haven't seen a single rub until we came in here, so that's fucking perfect. That's awesome, man. So you guys are saying this piece is like, you know, 70, 80 acres, but hunts like 300. You know, it's oh, just, wow. just thick as snot, and you get up in the open. I haven't been in here, but from what you guys are telling me, there's like oaks, lots of oaks, acorns, food. Deer have everything they need to, to stay here and to not leave, so. Yeah. Um, Once you get past this thicket, it'll open up, and you got all these marshes out here. And I mean, deer just piled up in them. That's awesome. So we have yes. to call uh, the pontoon in to haul two deer. We're gonna call. We're gonna call the Uber. The if, deer if Uber. the pontoon is the next clip, you guys know what happens. <laughs> if it's us paddling out, struggle bus, you know what happened as well. Yeah, Tyler, <laughs> Tyler was struggling on this little ass. I, I was sinking. A big man in a little boat yeah. is sinking. They came along, saved me. I grabbed onto their life raft, and I was like, take me to my destination. <laughs> Hey, listen, you paid the toll though. You brought us. Yeah, you six brought us cheeseburgers. I did. I, I buttered you guys up. And yeah. the trail camera. What so. else you need? Yeah. We'll kayak you in anywhere. That's right. That's awesome. Well, cool deal, man. Let's uh, let's get in there and kill one. Hopefully, hopefully tonight goes well. Yeah, good luck. Shoot straight, right. man. Yep, you, you guys too. Power Rangers. <laughs> well, we just got set up in the tree. It's about 2 220. This spot's awesome. Walking in, we've seen scrapes, we've seen rubs. We kind of skirted the edge of this island, and uh, we got in here, uh, hung the XOP stand. Uh, Brian's up, up in the invader saddle behind me. We're overlooking two really nice trails. One one that runs uh, kind of like east and west, and one that runs right along the edge of this island. There's only like three or four isolated islands on this big peninsula piece, and uh, there's just a ton of sign in here, so that's super promising. So we're set up here, Dan, and Nick are set up maybe three, four hundred yards to the west. And we're just hoping one of these big bucks that are in here making all these scrapes, tearing shit up, uh, wants to come by one of us tonight. We're, we're just hoping that hopefully we can get one of these big bucks to slip up. So it's like, 
that makes him a part of that hunt. It makes him a part of that harvest. Yeah. And then we go through the recovery and all the stuff. So it's like, yeah. But we're going to actually get into details of how the hunt has been so far. Because you shot, you've killed so far. Yeah, yep, shot a doe, uh, my third set, second set. I think your second set. Second set shot a doe off public land, so. Um, Only a different experience than us so far. Yeah. yeah. Um, although we're now island boys together. That's right, <laughs> man. Yeah, I went into the to the island and like you guys said, scrapes everywhere. You guys come back from the island, first off. You're like, this is the greatest place on the whole planet. You're not gonna believe it. there's deer everywhere, there's scrapes everywhere, there's sign everywhere. So a Jurassic Park of white tail animals. Yeah, they're on a different island. They have different rutting activity. They're <laughs> totally isolated. So uh, did you did you call BS on it? No, I mean you guys signed me up. I got on a kayak. I was sinking, and I, and I went out there with <laughs> that you guys. Was the best. <laughs> so I'm having a good time. It's uh, I was supposed to go home today actually, and I'm I'm, I'm hunting tonight. So. All right, it is October. October 11th, going back on the island here in uh, Wisconsin public land. Uh, new game plan today, wind switched out of the east, so we're actually going to access from a different point and hunt a different point. But we uh, got two hunters, two camper guys going into this spot, and these guys have kind of a crazy tactic. What they're going to do is they're going to do a, a loud rattling sequence, do some calling in here early October. Um, we broke that down earlier on Dan's podcast, like the reasoning why we're doing that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but we're going in here, we're going to get set up, get our XLPs hung, and it could be potentially the last sit unless we sit tomorrow morning. And uh, yeah, hopefully one of these uh, big bucks want to come strolling through, so see how it goes. Camera one, camera two. It's October 11th. Brian and I just slipped in here. Uh, we're back on the island island boys and uh, I don't really know what to think we pretty much pushed through this entire island didn't see any deer not a lot of deer sign either it's super thick and there's no trees that we could get into hunt from the beginning all the way to the end at this point so we're kind of in a really weird area I don't really know what to expect tonight it's not like we're set up like in the best spot in the world but um, we kayaked in here and we got set up I don't really know. These guys are going to make some noise in a little bit, and that could potentially get the deer on their feet. So we're just going to sit tight and uh, and pray. One of these big bucks wants to, wants to run through here. We'll see what happens. Dude, they must have just shot something. We just freaking heard him screaming. Dude, he's a, he's a good deer. Yes! He's not the monster, but he's a good deer. Yeah. <laughs> Unit, but it's a good bug. No way. Dude, I heard, I was like, is that a coyote? I'm like, no, that's them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Four pointer come in, and I'm like, man, dude, I, like, I knew he was coming. I heard something. Let's like, go. <laughs> dude, smoked him. Oh, shit, 40 yards, dude, stuck him. No he way. Ran right through it. Dude, thank you for what you told me today. You told me. When you set your air or set your pin, you dial it back three yards. I set it for 36. He was at 40, and he ducked perfectly into it. Oh, yes, the only, dude. Thing I'm, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is he ducked and turned away, which brought his vitals back a little bit. Okay. It looked like he got. It looked like it hit his front right shoulder. I can't tell. But when he runs away, we'll be able to look better. But he kind of stepped behind a tree, right? He was stopped, and then he took a step, and he said, Merk. He stepped right behind a tree for me. Just his head, though. Like, enough of his front shoulder. I think the deer, I think he toasted him. Dude, I freaking go, dude. I heard this scream. I'm like, at first I was like, Kyle? I'm like, oh, no, that's not Kyle. <laughs> They're screaming. <laughs> Let's go. right now, man. Dude, the island pays off. Let's go. <laughs> so Nick actually lost him when he went behind this stuff. And he's like, dude, I lost him. He goes, where is he? And I go, he's still coming, dude. He's still coming. And he just lost him for that whole time until he stepped out. Like panic mode so look, minute. dude, look at where he steps out. I had all this time to stop him. And while he was all the way through here... Oh, you got good footage. Look at that. As he was all the way through here, I was in, I I hung my grunt tube 
on my bow hanger. Okay. Well, I had to go around the this side of the tree, and when I did, it got caught. My bow or my grunt tube got caught on my sight. <laughs> oh my god! And so I'm literally doing this, like trying to get it off, and he's like, "Stop him!" And I'm thinking to myself, "Nick, please don't." stop him yeah, don't because stop he's going to look over and I'm not drawn back yet. Right, right. Or no, I, sorry, I was drawn back, but I was still trying not, to get that ready, off. Right. So and you're, so you're I was like what he's going to do. So, all that time he stops here and here. He's in the wide open right there. Wide open, easy shot. And then he takes a step and I finally get it off and I give him the mat. Oh my That's the goodness. shot, but here the arrow is flopping hard. Initially Watch, watch the trajectory of the arrow and think about where his vitals are right now. I mean, just like right behind. The arrow was firm until he went behind that pine and then it started flopping. Oof. So I have no idea. The penetration wasn't great. Yeah, jump in and grab some video though. Looking back at it. You see I watched it enter and I was okay. like, I immediately was like, that's a dead deer. Yep. Like absolutely dead. But better. upon watching the video, it turns and it, the arrow is oh, doing this. Did, 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 mm -hmm. It definitely didn't pass through. He he ducked he ducked and turned from it, and I watched it right in. And I was like, behind the done. shoulder, or in front of the shoulder, at the shoulder. Dude, it looked here. You can watch. Unfortunately, so here my he oh, stops here. He stops here, and my my grunt tube got caught on my sight. Oh no! Back up. A shoulder blade. So we we're pretty sure it's behind it because we slowed it down right here, right underneath that shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. Did you need to wait till tomorrow? Yeah, I was. Is, is there a reason you need to go tonight? And the only reason I say that is if he kicked that elbow back, you nick that elbow. And if you nick that elbow, that's why you didn't get the penetration. I wouldn't mess with him tonight. Okay. That's my opinion. Now you do whatever you want to. We'll see, like but. right. Well, is there's no coyotes? Because there's, there's no, there's, it's there's cold. no other reason why you wouldn't have got the penetration. If that's right behind the shoulder, right? If yeah. that is behind the shoulder right there, there's nothing. That's I think it caught. Punch. You just thought yep. it caught but the elbow. I, I think you caught the elbow, which I, I still think it's a dead deer. Yeah, you know what I mean. It but, just popped the elbow. Yep. yep. Popped so, but the this elbow is this is what I was so confused about. Look at how look at how fucking bad this thing wings this thing. Like when he gets farther away, so it'll go like. This is why I think it's behind the shoulder for sure. Watch it wheelhouse, and then he keeps it all the way to here. Yeah, no, so don't, you can't, don't. you can't that's, see that. I think there's that much of that arrow in there. Like in my opinion, looking at that, like because you're talking about the winging, that's in and then starts to come back out. Yeah. Like you know what I mean, and it's hung in that hide. That's what I think, and I think that you caught like. So whenever. you're saying like that blade's like this. That's right, exactly. Okay. In the hide. Yep. So like in my opinion, by watching that, that deer's like this. And whenever you shot, that elbow was coming back because he, he was, was going walking. like this. That's right. Catches that elbow, deflects it, slows the slows the arrow down. You still pocket punch him. That deer's dead. Yeah. But it caught that elbow before right. it went in. Yeah. And uh, I ask yourself, is there a reason you need to tonight? No. Like just a I don't, excitement. You know, We're not gonna sleep. Aside from me not <laughs> getting yeah, yeah. sleep. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, if that was my deer, I wouldn't. But yeah. that's the beautiful thing about being you, man. You get to you get to decide, right? That's right. Well, I literally just told them. I'm like, dude, I've never had to back out on a deer before. So what if everybody uh, rage hypodermic. <laughs> he said back out. Back, back out. out. No, back no, out. No, 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 he loves that. Shoot. He loves that's that. That's what yeah. I shoot. Yeah. And I swear by him. Yeah. Back out. 110% because now that that whenever we find that you're gonna see a slice 110% that's why it lost I, 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 That makes way more sense to me, yeah. but I didn't think when he was because he because he does this ducked, he yeah. See well, and that's the thing when he punch. when he ducked and turned I watched it right behind the shoulder yeah. But I didn't think about the elbow being up yeah. so Could where that elbow it, stopped it not hitting it like pinched you it You could have nicked it like, no, well, I'm no, saying no, like so if that no, arrow hit usually, and as it's hitting you block it. What, what kind of arrows are you shooting? Uh, Spine? 340 It probably would have broke it a three, if he 300 like maybe that. not 340 or 400 it should have broke it if that was the case You yeah. know what I mean? How I'd, far was he? That was the other thing we didn't hear. 40. What's that? 40 yards. Right at 40. Okay. Like 40.0. I've talked to you on uh, Instagram before. Yeah. yeah. 